So today I'm going to try something a little bit different because we're going to do a vlog. So come with me on my day and let's see what we do. Eight o'clock in the morning, um, and about a week, week and a half ago, I started some seeds. So I'm just watering them, um, keep them moist. A couple of them have germinated already, so like the sunflower seeds um, have already come up. I started them again yesterday for the second round. It's about, I think it's April third this week. Um, so, getting, getting the garden ready. I'm going to start doing yoga. Um, I want to start doing yoga more and do a little bit in the mornings. So today is my only consistent um, day of the week that I have off. So it's a Tuesday. I usually have every Tuesday off. Um, so today's not a normal day. I don't want you to think I do this, you know, this kind of stuff every day. Um, but I want to try to do some yoga today. We're going to do some um, reading, so I'll show you some of my books, um, things that I'm studying. I have to run some errands today and do some art. So, yeah. I did yoga, I hopped in the shower, washed my hair, now we're going to water the indoor plants and then I'm going to read some of my books. some art and things later on but I want to show you my books and I want to show you the mess that I have because every time I get into a like study research kind of mode this is kind of what <laughs> what it looks like I just have so many books here but as you can see I just have them all <laughs> in a pile on the floor I have some art stuff there. Um, I just have a lot of a lot of books, <laughs> a lot of things I try to research and do all at one time. Um, but this is my newest book. Um, I got it from Amazon. It's the Self Compassion Workbook for OCD. Um, it is by Kimberly Quinlan. And as I've shared before, um, I do have obsessive compulsive disorder, 
So I do go to therapy. I have therapy like every other week. Um, but I also read things to help me. Um, and I have other OCD workbooks as well that I can share with you at some some other time once I kind of finish them and is that what all I want to say but if you are interested in that let me know I'll make a video and I also I really like this so I got this recently it is the ACT deck now ACT stands for acceptance commitment therapy so it has 55 cards and I've just been taking one out every day um, and it's just like something you can do to um, you know, just bring a little mindfulness to your day and, and something you can kind of do in the morning and think about through the rest of your day. Um, so I haven't pulled today's card yet, so we'll do that together. Focusing on healing. The thoughts, feelings, sensations, and memories that you most want to rid yourself of. The ones that make you want to hide are the ones that need your attention and compassion. Focus on those for 10 breaths and notice how you feel afterwards. Yeah, so I'll just pull one. Um, this is from the open section of the deck. There's a couple different um, like sections in it, but I'll just kind of think about that through the day um, and I'll start reading my book. All right, so I just finished doing um, some of the workbook pages in in the Self-Compassion for OCD workbook. So um, I'm going to, I have some um, therapy notes that my therapist sent me that I haven't had printed out. So I'm going to get all of those in a like Google Doc and then I'm going to go to my library, print them out. It's only like 50 cents each at my local library to print in color um, per page. So I'm going to do that and, and then I have to do one more errand. <laughs> I just got home from running my errands and I got all my pages printed from the library so I printed one of my artwork which I'll give you kind of a sneak peek of because I have it in the works for the video to be posted soon so here's this sneak peek um, I, the way that I did this one is I painted the people um, that you saw in the middle and then I digitally put in the words I didn't I didn't do the words myself so I put the words in through paint and then I sent it to the library and got it printed so I have one one of those and then I have a bunch of um, different like therapy um, worksheets that I have to work on so I'm going to now eat I might eat outside because it's really nice out um, and then I'll do some art and I also I went to Dollar Tree also and I got a calendar but I didn't need this I didn't go in for it but it's a dinosaur pink dinosaur poppet and I love it and I got it but yeah let's eat and do some art Alright, so I was sitting out here eating and I um, see some purple dead nettle over here growing. We have a lot of it right now. Um, it's been growing for, for a little while, but I'll take you over and, and show you. Alright, so here we have some purple dead nettle. It's growing on the hill, in the rocky patch, and in the flower bed. It is one of the earliest ones to come up in spring, so it's really good for the pollinators and bees. Um, I believe it's in the mint family, and it does seem to spread pretty quickly. Um, it is an edible, too, so you can put it in your salads, and 
um, consume it in other ways as well, dried and teas and things. I haven't really worked with it too much. Alright, so I'm going to give you another sneak peek during this video. So I'm working on a painting that's going to take quite a while. It's going to be paired with research that I'm doing for different herbs and things um, that can all help with anxiety, depression, um, brain health in general. Um, so I'm, I'm making an entire painting on this. So you'll get a sneak peek. I'm going to do... Um, one or two maybe um, drawings to finish this section and then maybe I'll start painting it. So I've done a lot today, um, I got a good bit done, I'm gonna probably end the vlog here, um, my dad's coming home soon and then I'm gonna go over to my fiance's house after dinner so I'm probably just gonna clean up a little bit and, and relax and hang out with my loved ones. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for coming with me, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, maybe I'll do more of these in the future. This is my first one, so we'll see. Alright, thank you. Bye-bye.